traditionally in migraine therapy, there's a bright line drawn between acute treatments and preventive treatments. Acute treatments are used at the time of the attack to relieve pain and restore function. Preventive patient treatments are used to reduce the frequency and or the severity of migraine attacks. One of the Remarkable things about GPANTS, which is a class of oral CGRP receptor blockers, is that they work very well both as acute and preventive treatments. In fact, they were originally developed as acute treatments. And then, for example, in the Remigipant long term safety study, we noticed that when people with frequent headache used Remigipant acutely, their headache frequency declined remarkably over the course of the year. And that led to the idea of studying Remigipant also as a preventive treatment. It's now the only drug that's FDA approved both as an acute or preventive treatment. And what this long-term extension study taught us is how patients use Remigipant when it's available both as an acute and as a preventive treatment. As a preventive, it's dosed every other day. As an acute treatment, it's dosed on days when you have a headache to relieve pain and restore function. In our study over the course of a year, we gave people enough remigipan to take it every day. We instructed them to take it every other day. And then we looked at how they used it and what the long-term outcomes were when, when they used Remigipant both as an acute and preventive treatment. And that's really the unique aspect of the study. What we found over a year of treatment is that given essentially unlimited access to Remigipant, people used it preventively as instructed. And in addition, on average, a little bit less than once a month as an acute treatment. And with that form of use over the course of a year, we found that monthly headache days continued to decline over the course of a year and that there were no safety concerns, that people needed minimal rescue medication and used remigipant, as I said, on average, less than one day a month is acute treatment. So we find that this study supports the convenience of having a single drug that can be used both as an acute and as a preventive treatment.